Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we've got some really interesting news about Darth Maul coming to Star Wars Legion. And I'm going to tell you about what I have found because I think it's very, very interesting and pretty much confirmation about how we're going to get Maul, what form Maul is going to come in, and what is coming with Maul. So, all of this is uh, coming from a leak that I found, so it's still kind of not official, but it's certainly more official. I have talked about Maul before, but this is going to look a lot more official. So, uh, with that being said, before I jump into this, let me remind you, there's still time left to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos, and you're automatically entered to win the $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. That should be announced next week. They typically run for like two weeks at a time. Uh, also, if you do want to support the channel, there's links to Patreon in the description below or merch like the uh, the Ahsoka uh, face shield uh, and, and there's also Boba Fett. There's new ones coming too, so uh, definitely check those out. But uh, new uh, new Gator Necks coming all the time, so check those out. Also t-shirts like this uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start shirt uh, if you guys play X-Wing or if you just like also in honor of uh, what was that new book that just came out today the new Alphabet Squadron book actually just started listening to that um, but yeah so anyway I'm just kind of in a starfighter mood today all right let's talk about Darth Maul now I got all the admin stuff out of the way uh, but long story short check the uh, description for more links also links to where I found what I'm talking about okay so what could, what am I talking about? So a long time ago, I did a video about well, not a long time ago, a video about uh, Anakin Skywalker Commander expansion was rumored to be coming out, and there was some distributor uh, kind of leaks that were talking a little bit about how he might show up, and uh, and since all of these kind of distributor leaks have pretty much been a hundred percent true, um, you know, like I talked about it, uh, but there was also rumors that there was going to be Darth Maul coming with Anakin Skywalker. However. I had not seen a distributor leak about Darth Maul yet. It was only more conjecture. Uh, and so I didn't want to talk about that because, I, you know, I didn't know if it was like maybe just somebody like breaking an NDA or if it was just, you know, wish list stuff. Because let's face it, I've been wish listing for Darth Maul for a long time. Uh, but with that being said, um, I did come across a distributor stuff for uh, basically a distributor pre-order page for Darth Maul. And it looks like we are getting episode one, Darth Maul. Uh, and he will be an operative. And I'm hoping he's in a pose very much like this one right here. This is kind of like the Darth Maul that I want. I have no idea what the miniature is going to look like because there are no pictures. But we do have some more information. So uh, first off, this comes from the uh, Canadian distributor Lion Rampant. Lion Rampant has on their website right now... A lot of leaky, spoilery stuff that did not get announced yet, uh, including the Star Wars Legion Darth Maul and Sith Probe Droid Operative Expansion. So this tells us a whole lot. And this is uh, number 76 as far as the product code. And that's also interesting too. But let's, let's take this, you know, first off, there's a whole bunch of things we have to unpack based on this this image right here. And I'm, I'm going to put a link to where you can find this down in the description. But Lion Rampant has a lot of other stuff that is not announced yet. All of the Armada Clone Wars stuff is on there. Up for pre-order right now. Uh, now, uh, this is not for individual pre-orders. This is for like stores that have, you know, that order with them. But that are up right now. Um, and I've talked a little bit about those. Those I've already talked about those. Um, X-Wing has new stuff. X-Wing has three brand new expansions on there that, and I'm going to do a whole other video talking about those because there's already some discussion going on those on the, on the message boards and on the forums uh, about some of the new, uh, new packs for X-Wing. Um, so, so that's coming. I'm going to talk about that, you know, probably tomorrow or the next day. You know, got a, there's a lot more to unpack with those. But then for Legion, it's got both the Anakin Skywalker expansion and the Darth Maul expansion. And so there's a lot of stuff here. Now, this is up for pre-order. This is on their website. It's publicly available. So it's not like I'm leaking stuff. This They leaked it. I'm just reporting it to you. Um, and, it's, and, and again, you can find it right, you know, click the link, you'll, you'll find it. Um, but wait till the end of the video, then, then click the link. All right, but, because there's a lot of stuff to unpack with this. First off, it says Darth Maul. Darth Maul implies that Maul, right? 
I mean, that most people would most people would agree, or maybe the hooded version. I imagine there will be multiple versions. I imagine you will probably be able to build him with one lightsaber or double bladed lightsaber. I imagine you'll probably be able to build him with the hood if you want as well. Uh, I, though I expect this to be the more popular version. Maybe if you're going to have a hard time painting his face tattoos, you go with the hood because it'll conceal it a little bit more. That's kind of my guess based on how they have been doing more variety with sculpts, right? Okay, um, Darth Maul and Sith Probe Droid operative expansion. First off, another thing about it being an operative expansion confirms it's Episode 1 Maul because he was definitely a an operative in that. Now, I get that a lot of people say, well, he didn't work for the CIS, and I'm like, okay, I get it, but he was also, you know, working for, for Palpatine, so, and Palpatine was pretty much CIS. He was just laying the groundwork to form the CIS, so he was, you know, I get that he wasn't wearing their the CIS banner, but out of all the factions in Legion, he aligns most closely with CIS, so that makes the most sense. Um, so that, like that, he, I'm sure he's going to be separatist. Now it doesn't say separatist, but pretty sure that's what he'll be. Unless, of course, he's going to be some type of non-aligned thing, which would be really cool if you could use him with the Empire. It'd be awesome. All right, um, and and Sith probe droid. So I imagine he's going to have some similar functionality to how Cassian Andor and K2SO work. Something like that. Or, the Sith Probe Droid could simply be a counterpart. It might be a separate unit, it might be a counterpart. Probably makes sense for it to be a counterpart since he's going to take up your operative. Uh, unless, of course, it's going to be two separate operatives. You can run Maul or you can run Maul and the Probe Droid, both as separate operatives. It really depends on how it's going to work. I think if Maul comes in, Darth Maul comes in, he might be a great opportunity to give the Separatists infiltrate. It would make sense for him to have him infiltrate uh, as an operative, or maybe to give the probe droid infiltrate, or maybe they just both start out in normal deployment and the probe droid is speed three, uh, but doesn't really have combat value, or maybe it just stays attached to him. Not sure. I don't see it giving him shields though, but it might give him vision on something. Maybe if the probe droid can see something, uh, it can like spot a target and then he gets bonus movement speed moving to that target, something like that. Very, very exciting. But here's another view I want to give you of that same website. When you're looking at all of the Legion stuff, if you go down to the bottom, you're going to see a couple of things. You've got like all the stuff kind of, and I scrolled down to the bottom of this page, but you've got all the stuff in the unit, the, the numbers, right? You've got 72, which is the BX series, 73, which is the Stap Riders, 74 is Anakin Skywalker Commander Expansion, okay? I've already done a video talking about that. It's cool. Um... I'm guessing it's going to be Clone Wars Anakin, kind of like the from the animated series, like in between 2 and 3. That's kind of my guess. Uh, although I would love for it to have been Episode 2 Anakin first, but that was part of my other video. And then 76 is Darth Maul. And then after this, they get into some like maps and paints and stuff. It's not, there's nothing after. There's no numbers higher than 76 currently. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. Um, 73 to 74, that makes sense. 75 is missing. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say 77 is missing also. These are probably the first two expansions of a different wave. And it's entirely likely that there's more than just these two coming. For, notably, the absence of 75. Usually, you don't have just one that's, that's missing all by itself. Um, and also, I don't think that they would introduce new Force users for just the Clone Wars factions without also introducing Force users to... Uh, to the other ones, I'm really hoping we're getting new force powers, and if they want the Rebels in the Empire to have uh, access to those same force powers, it might be pretty cool if uh, they, you know, also have, like, Kanan and an Inquisitor or something like that. Wouldn't that be amazing? But the question that I've got is, wait, why would you give these two dis to distributors and not the other two? I mean, sometimes it's just because they release things you know, at different times. Not everything comes out for the same faction at the same time. I get that. That's fine. That's probably what's happening here. There could have also been uh, a slowdown. Now, why, you're probably wondering, why are these, is this coming to us from distributors and not coming to us directly from FFG? My prediction is it has a lot to do with COVID. Uh, the fact that distributors have been leaking stuff lately uh, is probably more symptomatic of the long-term plan put things at this type of timeline. And then when COVID put a four-month delay on everything, um, they had to stop everything. You know, like, all right, all right, no more new stuff comes out. But they probably didn't get everything stopped. Like, some pe somebody somewhere didn't in Europe didn't get the message, oh, we weren't supposed to 
uh, get this pre-order notice? Well, we have it, and that's how things get leaked. Probably the same thing with this particular distributor. This was probably in the pipeline. I'm not even blaming them. It might be the person who sent them this information because uh, if, if the fact that this hasn't even been announced yet it was probably supposed to have been announced already that's basically if we didn't have the four month delay we would have probably already had things like bx's and staps getting ready to come out and we would have new previews already now we do know previews are picking up we're getting more previews now but uh but yeah so this is really exciting so if you're not familiar with uh, the Sith probe droid, it's going to be this thing. In episode one, Darth Maul shows up on Tatooine. He's got this Sith probe droid that he sends out and it does its own thing. That's why I don't think it's going to be a counterpart to Darth Maul. I think it's going to be a unit that has its own uh, function. It might function as an operative. Then again, it could also take the place of like a, a support or a core. It would be really interesting for Darth Maul to come like packaged with a support or something like that. That would be really interesting. Also be really interesting if it took the place of a core. Um, but again, it does, doesn't really function that way. So I could see it maybe being support special forces, but most likely operative. If it's going to be going out uh, gathering intel on somebody. I imagine it would be possibly shielded, possibly very fast, uh, possibly have the jump mechanic just because it can fly or, or maybe hover, hover ground, something like that. Uh, really not sure what type of uh, role it will play other than to maybe just be a some type of support. So like I, I say support as in like the role, but not necessarily the, the, the rank, right? But it could be a support. It'd be really interesting. Um, it's also worth pointing out that Darth Maul did ride this little scooter thing, and I really hope we don't get Darth Maul on a scooter. Like As much as I want mounted commanders, I don't want my first iteration of Darth Maul to look like this. I just don't. Even though this is the best picture I could find of him with the probe droid at the same time. Um, yeah, I, I'm really hoping we get a, a, a very animated, dynamic pose for Maul. Uh, and, and hopefully, uh, we're not too far off from getting a Qui-Gon at some point. I would love to get a Qui-Gon, and uh, that, would be, that would be super awesome. But uh, now, if you wanted Maul, like Clone Wars era Maul, I think there's absolutely the chance to get that. I think we're going to get Maul with the metal legs... Um, as a commander, though, at some point, probably a year down the line, I'm thinking maybe by the time we get more Mandalorian focused stuff, if we end up getting a scum and villainy or syndicate type factions, or if we get non aligned characters that can basically run stuff together, Maul will work very, very well if you're looking for more Mandalorian commanders, especially if you want a force using Mandalorian commander. Um, or he could simply be a separatist commander that has some type of... It all depends on if they do sub-factions being like, um, you know, under the parent faction or being like their own thing or something like that. Because like Death Watch or and all of that stuff could, could go a lot of different ways. But this version of Maul makes a lot more sense. You know, his Clone Wars version makes a lot more sense to be a commander. Because that was when he was kind of doing his own thing and leading people. That's Commander Maul. But if this is going to be an operative, it's going to be the other version. But there's... It's going to be, uh, you know, episode one, Darth Maul. Because he really wasn't Darth Maul as much once he, you know, he more or less kind of became Maul. Uh, but, again, there, there's a lot of different ways they could do him, too. He's got he's got a lot of different metal legs. Maybe we'll get that Spider Maul at some point, which would be super, super cool. I would love to see Spider Maul uh, on a, a larger base, too. It would be really, really exciting. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about getting Darth Maul in Star Wars Legion. Uh, and I get that this isn't officially confirmed through FFG yet, but that's the fact that we're getting it from distributors is a pretty good sign. I'd love to hear what you guys think. All right, you guys, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank my patrons so much. You guys are amazing and make this all possible. Thank you for your continued support. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. Uh, buy some merch, help support the channel, uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much, and as always, have a great day.